to what's going on guys welcome to the too much test podcast where we talk about manly shit um i am here with sam as always um sam how's it going bro it's been it's been uh a while since i've seen you it's been extremely busy it's been a minute people don't realize that we typically do two episodes and we bank them up so we do have some buffer because we've both been pretty busy so it just hasn't worked out so but uh, glad to be back on the uh there was a um, something I was looking at right before this out of the University of Jerusalem in 2022, towards the end of 2022, where data from 53 countries shows men in all those areas have a significant increase in total sperm counts as well as sperm concentration, which is pretty crazy because uh, there's those people out there like. Um, was it Bill Gates? Bill Gates, right? So Bill Gates, or that the people in that mindset of like whack job that think you should reduce the population of the world. Well, they're clearly succeeding because what do you think happens if, as you see this trend in men's total sperm and their sperm concentration going down year after year, not just in the United States, not just in westernized um, countries around the world, but there's, they, they mention in, um, I think it was Africa or like several, it's 53 different countries, right? They're not all westernized uh, countries, but I don't, I don't remember the total list of all the countries and it declines. And then when you get to 2000, the year 2000, it declines at an ever increasing rate, which means that there's going to be less capability to just get women pregnant. That doesn't include like women's fertility. Yeah. The it's country kind of, is declining as well. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, because and then you have on that side, you have Bill Gates. And then on the other side, you have uh, Elon Musk. Right. And Elon Musk is like, oh, there's a population decline. We're not even sustaining ourselves there. There's so much space out there in the world to be like be abundant. Like we need to have more kids. Right. And you have both of those both of those sides there. Like, on it. I don't know. I find, I find it um, I find it kind of interesting, uh, but I I don't know if it's just like human nature. Or maybe I just don't understand something. I don't get the argument for overpopulation. It just doesn't. I don't get that argument at all at whatsoever. Right? Like, I don't what if, understand it. What if, what if the end goal, and this is just a weird thought, is that you basically make it so humans can't reproduce, but then on the flip side, you have a way to create humans in a lab and you can just like pre-program them to be like weak little slaves and little, uh, you know, Sub subservient little <laughs> little uh punks, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that's the case, but that's pretty uh bro. I saw they just released like two billion like GMO uh mosquitoes in Texas and Florida, and it's had something to do with Bill Gates. I don't know what it is, but it's something to like control malaria. But now we haven't had malaria in however many years, and there's already five cases of it. <laughs> I just saw I saw this, I was watching YouTube on that earlier, and I'm like what the fuck could possibly go right about releasing genetically modified uh, mosquitoes? <laughs> what could possibly go right? You know what I'm saying? Like anytime we've introduced an animal to like do something in nature, it gets out of control. It has no predators. It fucks up the ecosystem, but uh, apparently we're going to get it right this time. When has there ever been a movie that when you like modify a species or you create a, a mutation of some you know, you, you put a gorilla with a lion or you do like a shark with a snake or whatever it is, just <laughs> you give it some type of mutation to create the Hulk or something. I don't think we've ever had an example, even if it's just storytelling, right? Like a movie or real life where that's turned out to be like super positive, especially <laughs> when you can't even like the... the the benefit of a mosquito, right? Because I think everything has a purpose. But I'm like, okay, if that's what my core belief that everything has a purpose, then what's the purpose of mosquitoes, right? Because it doesn't seem to be like a bee where you use them for, you know, populating or uh, pollinating flowers and whatnot. And you can have honey from bees, etc. Right? And then certain bees go after certain other pests and stuff like that. So you're like, okay, cool. There's like, this thing that's good. There's this thing that's good. There's this thing good, right? Like dogs, right? Dogs are like 
uh, pets for humans, right? There's many other benefits to the dogs, whether it's finding drugs or training them to do certain tasks <laughs> that humans like, can't do, right? Uh, but they're like, what is the benefit of mosquito? Fuck and and literally the only thing that I can think of is because I has that foundation of like everything has a reason, right? Is that not having mosquito, you you appreciate not having a mosquito. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh man, that's that's kind of annoying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, only thing I can think is that they're like food for other animals. That's the only benefit I could see. I mean, they're horrible little creatures. I fucking hate those things. <laughs> and I'm actually kind of like extra allergic to them. Like, bro, we could both be in a room, and if there was one mosquito, it's landing on me and it's biting me, and that bite lasts longer than for me than most people. And it freaking sucks. Hey, have you, um, there was a guy, he owns uh, a SARM. Oh, I don't even think we actually talked about the sponsors for the show. This is we a really it. long intro. We're doing it right now. If you like the show and you'd like to support the show in other ways, you can check out the sponsors down below, ultimategymtowel.com. This towel is absolutely amazing. My, my girlfriend actually uses uh, the black one that I have uh, from them. It is awesome. It's sturdy, but it also has this little pocket for your phone. Highly recommend it. There's also a code for 25% off TMT25, TMT25 at theultimategymtowel.com or triggerbrand.store. If you like researching with stuff, so say test your levels, get a mosquito bite, and <laughs> mosquito bite has an allergic reaction. I actually have a buddy who had the same effect where he gets, he showed me pictures where he gets a uh, mosquito bite on his leg. And instead of just having like a small prick for me, it, it like I get the thing and then like it's gone in, you know, 20 minutes or right, if I even notice it, right. Where with my buddy, he got stung by a mosquito and there's a, like a foot long section from top to bottom and from left to right, like seven or eight inches long of a mosquito bite it's all bright bright red on his leg and then shows another one on his foot like slash ankle and his foot and ankle are actually swollen as well as being pink so wow. what he did is use bpc 157 250 micrograms and injected it right into the area where he got bit in his thigh and got bit in his ankle and then took pictures every single day astonishing I actually did a video on this on my youtube channel but if you like things like that research Check out triggerbrand.store and they also have a code TMT10 for 10% off your order. TMT10 for 10% off your order. So um dude, that's that's dope about the BPC. Like, dude, the more BPC is just awesome. It's 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 just so many useful different things. It's just and the fact that it's not a medicine is just ridiculous. That's just it's mind-boggling. That 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 was actually from like probably two years ago. So he we, we were messaging on Instagram. And he was like, bro, BPC is absolutely insane. And he sent me like the picture and you see this giant like well red spot on his leg. And it's just like, he's like, that's from a mosquito bite. I'm super allergic to that. Right. And, it, and it, he said it takes weeks for the bites to oh. go away. Like weeks. Right? Mine's gone like 20 minutes. His, because he's so allergic to them from the mosquitoes, it takes two to three weeks for the shit to go away. Wow. And he's like, so me, him and his girl were hanging out. He shows me one of, of his thigh, a picture of his thigh and the picture of his ankle. His ankle's like swollen, like it would be like a bee sting. And then he used uh, 250 micrograms of BPC. The next day drastically came down. Uh, then he did 250 micrograms the next day. And basically it was gone in like three or four days versus two or three fucking weeks. And that's Damn. incredible. Probably That's not nuts, long. man. Yeah, BPC is awesome. I, I'm a huge fan. I need to actually start stock up on some before they before they make it illegal. You know? <laughs> but um, speaking of puck ties, you actually mentioned before the show that you had made some changes to your cycle. We'll call it or yeah, your cycle. So it's it, nothing. It's nothing too too crazy. Um, and I actually wanted to bring it up because I was taking uh, CJC and. I didn't, I don't think I've told you this, but, um, I dude, I started noticing a side effect from taking CJC and it's, I don't know if I'm alone in this, but it was very, it's a very weird one. So when I did the first injection of CJC, right, I did, uh, the injection and then I did my TRT injection. And when I was doing my TRT injection, like I felt like warm and I felt like kind of the feeling of when you're like blood pressure is high and, I didn't think anything of it. And I figured it was just, I don't know, doing the shot or whatever, because I was doing intramuscular on my shoulder and 
you know, but then the next time I did it for about 20 minutes, I felt like my blood pressure was elevated and I felt like warm and just kind of like red. And it wasn't, it wasn't like an allergic reaction, but it just kind of felt like it amped up my blood pressure for whatever reason. And then after 20 minutes, it would go right down. So, mm -hmm. so I started doing my TRT injection first, uh, just so that when I do the CJC, I could chill on my couch and just let that side effect go, you know, you know, pass by. Not sure if that's a common thing or anyone's ever had it, but I definitely was repeatable. Wow. That's interesting. How much are you taking in the CJC or were you? One milligram. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. It was interesting. I mean, who knows? I mean, I could just be, you know, just like you said, you know, your buddy gets bit by a mosquito and he's fucked for weeks. You know, and maybe CJC just gives me a little bit of quick reaction to my body and then I'm good to go. Yeah, yeah, that is interesting. Like, uh, it makes me want to try like a larger dose. Um, <laughs> uh, of course it does. Million. Of course it would, Sam. Why would it not? <laughs> <laughs> but see, but, just um, people have that fact because then maybe it is uh, something that is common with CJC or maybe it's just you. Well, I, yeah. could test, I could test that for you and see. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, as far as my protocol change, so um, sticking tests and DECA is pretty much the same, like 225, 250 a week. I, I've kind of fluctuated. It just depends on the week and hundred milligrams of DECA, nothing crazy. Um, but I switched back to MK677 and I think I'm going to stick with that just because it helps me go to sleep. Um, but the only thing I really added in, and I don't think we've ever talked about it on this channel, is uh, I got a bottle of glutathione. And glutathione is like the, the most powerful antioxidant in your body. Like I was reading some reviews that people had written and, you know, experiences on it. And they were saying that like it lowered their like AST and ALT levels, which are liver uh, markers, you know. So if you drink a shit ton of alcohol, you're going to have high. And people were saying that it lowered their markers. And I was like, damn, that's pretty interesting. So, and I know that NAC converts over, I believe, to glutathione in the body. So I was like, listen, for the price of this stuff, I mean, you know, do a couple injections a week and it's water-based. It's real easy. I was like, I'm going to give this a shot, you know, maybe clear out my body a little bit, maybe get some, you know, less free radicals floating around and get a little healthier. So have you noticed anything? Because I think some of the things that uh, I actually have... Uh, Glutathione right over here. I just, I just got some in today or whatever. But um, I, when I was looking into it, some people even notice it like a lightening of the skin, and they they notice like skin benefits to it. How much are you taking? Have you know? Have it has? How long has it been? Oh, I just did the first injection yesterday. Okay, and and are you taking it uh, daily? Or are you taking it like a, a couple times a week? Um, I was planning on, I was just going to start off doing it when I do my injections. So, so twice a week um, and just kind of see how it went. I know that typically the dosage is a, is a lot more frequent if you're like trying to like detox. And I know you can also do it in like IV drips. Um, but I was, I always also kind of think, you know, like kind of with like, with like gear, you know, like, uh, you know, taking, taking a less of amount for a longer period of time instead of just blasting it, you know, so so like, why not do glutathione twice a week, kind of like in perpetuity, right? Yeah. Like maybe well, a couple of times a year, you just don't do it for a couple of weeks or something because you're like vacation or just twiddling your thumbs or something. But then you just kind of like perpetually do that on a regular basis. Yeah. I, that's the same approach. I was thinking, how much are you, um, how much are you taking? It, it's, it's dosed out like, uh, like 200 milligrams per milliliter. So I was just doing 200 milligrams twice a week. 200 milligrams twice a week. Okay, cool. Interesting. Yeah. yeah I, I like, uh, why the hell not? Yeah. And you get your, well, I think one thing that we probably could both agree on is that we, we could probably do better with getting more blood work more often, mm -hmm. like more comprehensive, whether it's like, we just don't want to spend the extra couple hundred bucks to get to, to like, you know, get more comprehensiveness uh, done. But um, I feel like you may be doing a little bit better job on that comprehensiveness, you know, more frequently than I am. So are you looking at your blood work to note it? Like, when are you going to do it again to notice if like, you're going to see any changes or anything? Oh, uh, I'm going to get blood work here soon, man. I'm a little bit overdue. Um, you know I mean? I'm not super worried about it, but cause I'm not doing anything crazy, but it's always good to get blood work. No one ever said, man, I'm can't wait, can't believe I wasted that $300 on blood work, you know? So yeah, I definitely need to get that done here. 
I mean, I'm not looking for it to like lower any particular numbers or anything. I mean, I just, I read about it. Most powerful antioxidant in your body. Antioxidants are pretty fucking good. Why not add some in there, you know? And free radicals and oxidative stress, which is like, think of shit that just fucks up all the dis different systems in your body, right? So like if you have free radicals and like oxidative stress on your body, that's what causes aging. It causes all these other issues and glutathione helps uh, yeah. lower both of those things. So I think that's uh, very interesting. I'm like, I got to figure out a way to make it into something related to business in order to allow myself mentally to spend money. Cause I, I think we've talked about it kind of briefly, yeah. you know, Rose, but I, um, it's content is you just do glutathione, you pay for it and you make video content. Yeah. But I, video content doesn't I, pay I, can write, I can write it off. No problem. I can write it off. No problem. However, I want to do it in a way that like maybe helps grow income. And that's how I think about things. Like how does, how does me spending money help me grow income or reduce costs? Right. And that cost could be time as well. Right. Um, because Bro, you're going to be an old fuck with fucking a bunch of money and not have lat work done in like 90 years. <laughs> like, I got some, if I if all I my did, lab work can make me money. I did do some blood work, I think twice earlier this year for two different things. Uh, and uh, there's a box over here on my desk or, uh, or the table thing over here um, for a, a sperm test. So it's not exactly blood work, but it is a sperm test. So it's 200 bucks for the test. And a lot of the tests you find online, you don't see this at LabCorp or Quest, right? But at least I couldn't find it there. Um, and I've done like the other tests where it just says, it's kind of like a pregnancy test where it's like, oh, you take over this amount or, or if you're under, then you have low sperm, but they're only checking like one factor. When you test your sperm quality, you look at several different factors. I think there's at least three or four different ones. So you check total sperm count, like how many sperm per ejaculate you check the morphology so the shape of the sperm mm -hmm. um the uh motility motility right how well does it swim mm -hmm. and maybe one other thing or whatever uh and i couldn't find a test that does all those so i finally found a test that does all those so earlier this year i got my lh and my fs lh and fsh levels checked um this test here has a ice pack and like this that all that kind of stuff in there so you um i, I opened it and read a little bit of the instructions but i'm not going to do it at the moment i'm going to do it in the morning so you're supposed to do it in the morning then it comes prepaid with like overnight shipping so then yeah. you you do it first thing in the morning you bring it immediately to like fedex or ups and it gets shipped out like 24 hour shipping to the lab to then because your your sperm the quality of your sperm like your sperm dies yeah. like each individual minute like longer right mm -hmm. especially if the temperature is not controlled so probably the perfect time to do it here in florida where it's like <laughs> it's so outside. fucking hot <laughs> yeah i got in the car it's like 103 the other day and it's like yeah but um so i'm going to be doing a test uh talking about spending the money on it but uh, doing a test so test it right now then i've got glutathione for 90 i got it for over 90 days but i'm going to be doing it probably twice or three times a week for the glutathione maybe 200 200 and 200 like monday wednesday friday or something yeah as well as there was a um study i was looking at where it was nac right like you were talking about the precursor to glutathione and celium i think we've talked about celium before uh, and those, they had uh, NAC, celium, and then uh, NAC plus celium, and then like control group. And they checked different factors of sperm quality, right? Whether it's like the shape, the, the quantity, or the ability for them to swim. And the combination of NAC and celium helped improve sperm uh, quality because my girlfriend and I might get but working towards that, right? Like basically yeah. I don't have LH or FSH. So like, why not start now? I know a buddy at the gym, he's like in his fifties and he's trying to do it now. And 
Ooh. I'm not, I'm not in my fifties. And I know if I wait till that age, it's going to be a hundred times <laughs> harder than it is now. <laughs> I was, I was wondering how the fuck did you justify get paying for a lab test to get LH and FSH? <laughs> like you yeah, know, that's going to be near zero. Uh, well, because I was, I knew that I was going to be doing this type of thing and working towards increasing my sperm levels. Like ideally this is what I'm going for. And it might take a year or two years or I might not. Well, I, I'll just say it might take a, a little bit of time to get done. Yeah. I want to increase my sperm levels, which are probably zero. If you guys like the show, make sure you subscribe. Uh, because in the future, after this, is, I'll probably do this tomorrow morning. And then it probably takes a week or so for me to get the results. So the next time we film, uh, we will have the results on there and I can go over them live and compare them with like the LH and FS late levels. And then we'll check, like we'll, we'll lay out my protocol and then what I'm doing and check the levels in 90 days later. Okay. And so I was like, I want to check these things. Is there anything else you can think of that I should or might want to check? I think there's inhibit B or something like that, which is like, uh, helps regulate the levels of FSH or something like that. So I was thinking of maybe getting that checked as well. So that I have like, cause the more data you have in the beginning, the better it is like in the future, like in the yeah. future, when you want to do more testing, you're like, ah, I probably should have tested that six months yeah. ago or six years ago. You know what I mean? It's, it's just always the case there, but I would like to not come off of TRT, but yeah. also still be able to get sperm back. Yeah. So I'd like to stay on, you know, 200 to 225, for testosterone and still get the sperm. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe drop that down to like 150. You give yourself a fighting chance. You, you think two, you think two, uh, 225 is too high? 200 is too high? I mean, I mean, I think, I mean, I don't think it's too high. I think it's not an ideal dosage if you're going for fertility. I mean, how much fucking HMG and HCG and clomid do you want to take? Well, here's the other thing. Okay. So, um, I'm also in the process of sourcing uh, tested and Um, So, cause I know like some of the owners of some of the brands out there and that's how we get these sponsors. Right. And so and uh, right, is the, you know, okay. So if people are listening and they don't know Clomid is what doctors will tell you to take for men's fertility. A lot of the times, maybe with a CG, but uh, Clomid is garbage. In my opinion, it's made up yeah. of two parts. Like, 65% N-clomiphene and 35% Zuclomiphene. So one is an, an, an antagonist and the other is an agonist on the estrogen receptor. So depending on which one it is, one is going to act like estrogen in your body, right? Which would then have a negative effect on your testosterone production because where does the estrogen come from primarily in men? testosterone right so if your body's like oh i have high levels of estrogen then you your body's gonna be okay well let's lower testosterone levels so that we don't have as high estrogen so that's in clomid and that's the zooclomiphene portion of that so like that's why dudes feel like garbage that's why they're moody that's why like they don't like clomid at all because it's trash but the good part of clomid is n clomiphene so I'm also in the process of getting the enclomiphene. However, I should probably only test one thing at a time to try to, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, I'll get it, say maybe I'll, that'll be in 30 days or 40 days when I get that in. And then I'll have the, I'll have the um, glutathione that I'll be doing. And I'll be like, oh, I want to add this in, right? Like I've, it's been tested. I know it's real. Like let's start adding yeah. it. And uh, I should probably wait the 90 day period, then I can add it like just with the glutathione and the celium and see if I'm able to notice any increase in like LH, FSH. And I'm gonna have to do another one of these like sperm test, which is another 200 bucks, right? So 200 bucks for that, 50 bucks for the LH and FSH um, levels to be tested and stuff like that. So yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm curious if I'll be able to do this while I'm testosterone. Bro, how, how random is it that we both started taking glutathione for completely different reasons? Like how, how random is that? Like, bro, I was, I was looking through the, the source that I got it from and every, I do this every time I order from them. <laughs> I, 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 get, I put what I want to buy in the cart, um, which, which happened to be Cialis. And, uh, and then I scroll through everything that they offer and I'm like, yeah, let's try that. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'll give that a try. 
Um, that's just super random that you're doing it for fertility. I'm just doing it to, for health. And on the flip side, I forgot to say that I actually stopped taking HCG uh, to become less fertile. So <laughs> we're completely different spectrums right now. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Well, if you, uh, that was the other thing. So like in addition to, so if I want to wait long enough, the mm -hmm. protocol that I'm leaning towards doing for sperm, it, I'm going to get it tested in three months, but I might have to get it tested again because you might, you know, if you've been on anabolics and shit for a long enough time and you just might take, you know, 18 months for shit to come back, right? So this is what I was thinking about. So psyllium, I think it's 200 milligrams a day. Uh, glutathione, probably three times a week, 200 milligrams per uh, shot three times a week. Um, icing my balls. I have got one ice pack. So I actually, uh, from the things that I've been reading and looking at, you should do it at least two, probably three times a day. I work from home, so I can at least ice my balls. Um, three. To, I would like, ideally is what I want to do is three times per day for the 90 day period at a bare minimum. Uh, it's going to be an interesting Zoom call so that you get on. <laughs> <laughs> adding, adding in um, HCG, like in the, in the most ideal, perfect world, I would add in HCG. I don't know how much I would add in per week, maybe 1,500 with That's the what I was going to say. And then I would like to also add in HMG uh, at a small dose, right? Because sometimes I think there's some evidence that shows like – um, it increases birth defects or something like that, or maybe increases the frequency of like your ability to have twins or something like that. Huh. Or maybe that's related to like women or something. I don't know what it was, but doesn't HMG mimic FSH? Okay, I thought and, that. And, and, and it's like a combo of FSH yeah. and FSH, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, I mean, what I would personally do, I mean, I would probably definitely start taking HCG. I mean, maybe just some low dose in clomiphene just for whatever if you have it. Oh. To kind of no, give yourself like get the yeah. end running, and then I would say when you when you say okay, I want to conceive or I want to conceive sometime near in the future, man, I would just start HCG and clomiphene, HMG, and just go hit it. I hit it from all paths. Uh, that sunflower lecithin, I'd probably do like the the you know huge load stack zinc. Um, I can't remember what else was in there, but that's what I would do. I would just throw it, throw it, throw the kitchen sink at it, and then just. Uh, you know, have, have fun. Let the process happen every day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and clomiphene, sunflower lecithin, lecithin, and uh, what was the other one? I know zinc's on there. Oh, yeah. Zinc. Oh, and also um, vitamin E. Vitamin E is also an antioxidant. Um, so it's helpful. You also have like, I don't remember what it was. There was a study I was looking at where they took vitamin E. <clears throat> they took vitamin E for like eight to 12 weeks or something and it increased uh, testosterone levels. I don't know if they were looking at FSH levels and I made a video about it on my channel a, a number of months or years ago. And so I was thinking of adding in vitamin E in there as well because of that research. And I honestly think my sperm is probably very close to zero or like they can't measure it because it's so low in yeah. terms of like when I do this test, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like, basically non-existent so is it like that's one of the big concerns too is it possible to right because if you, when you talk to dudes right who have low testosterone they're super quivery right like they don't have balls in terms of like commitment to like make decisions right you notice that like if somebody has low testosterone the ability for them to fucking make decisions fast or just in general is like cut down by 87%, right? Like it's just like they don't make decisions fast. Indecisive. And so it was super indecisive and just worry. They like worry about shit that's yeah. not like relevant, right? It's like, well, what if this happened? What's that? Well, you, you're worrying about something that's 26 steps in the future that has nothing to do with what you're talking about. Bro, I noticed right? girls do that a lot too. Girls yeah. think like worst case scenario, like what if this happens? What if they get, they get analysis paralysis? They just get scared, wishy-washy, whereas... I think strong guys are like, all right, let's look at the facts. Okay, let's see. All right, okay. All right, this one seems like the right decision. Fuck it, let's go. And if it's wrong, we'll backtrack and do the other thing. Yeah, exactly. And we'll and we'll pivot and we'll move forward. Yeah. You you are you still getting um up by the pool every day? Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's been uh I was gonna randomly say, bro, yesterday. 
bro, my pool got up to 94 degrees, the water. That's and awesome. I mean, I, I do have a little miniature, like a, a small, like homemade solar panel thing that heats the water. And I mean, it does a really good job, but bro, 94, that's hot as fuck. And I was, I was outside dude. there, a couple houses down, they're getting the roof redone. And bro, there were like seven dudes out there all day yesterday, which was super hot, bro. I cannot imagine freaking that's, that's a brutal job, man. That's whew. what do you, what do you think of 94 degree pool? It's nice. It's nice. I like it. I like a warmer pool. Um, my wife thinks it's a little too hot. Like she feels it's more like a bath, but I'm down for it. And when right, it gets hot during the nice, well, have you met, do you guys go to the ocean at all ever? Oh yeah. Yeah. I go to, I go to, I go to the beach as much as I can. Um, the water's typically pretty cold at the beach, at least it recently. It's probably pretty warm now. You go to the East coast or West coast? East coast. Oh, that's yeah. West West Coast, I, so I have also, because like vitamin D levels, uh, we have vitamin D receptors in our balls. So like I want to, like you would like inspire me to like, oh, I got to continue with that habit of like getting sun every day. And so maybe four to six times a week, I'll, I live right by the beach. So like it takes me 10 minutes to get there. So I'll go to the beach and I'll do cardio and I'll swim between like the poles of the ocean. It says like, you know, Boats basically don't come in past this point, so I'll swim between those two, yeah. and um, and get the uh, sun. And it's so warm in the water; it's amazing. I love it at this time <laughs> of the year where it's so it's literally like bath water. Like yeah, it's like swimming in a pool of urine because it's so incredibly warm. That's it's the really Gulf, man. <laughs> the Gulf, the Gulf gets gets warm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I. The nice thing for about me and my in my in my pool is that you know I, I have a fence and so bro I can just float around in the pool fucking naked as shit sun just all over the balls it's fantastic. Oh fuck! Uh, I will talk to you about it after we're. <laughs> I don't know. What we, all right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not uh, sending you a picture or anything. No, no. I was, I was <laughs> like, I want to come over and use that pool. No, um, I would. I'm in the process of like looking at real estate and so they're for like this business thing that i'm doing right so i want to have an office where i can operate certain things out of this office but i can buy like some places commercial and use that as the office but then you're paying all the costs on there so yeah. instead of doing that i think what i'm going to be doing is buying a residential piece of real estate and you know just confiscating the garage basically and converting yeah. that to an office because then i can rent out the house and the house can be the um subsidized cost of of quote the office so to speak you know what i mean yeah. um yeah. and and i've been looking at the real estate and seeing like a lot of properties with pools and i'm like oh, that would be really nice because i don't have a pool i go to the beach but uh a pool just having it out the backyard you don't have to drive 10 minutes to the beach or anything like that that's yeah. uh, super nice. Or whatever. It's honestly nice, man. Like I didn't, I thought it was going to be a lot more maintenance than it is. And, uh, you know, my wife had floated the idea and I was like, eh, you know, you only use it like, you know, six, six, seven months a year. And but now that I have it, bro, I love it. It's, I, I, I was, I was just thinking to myself, like I would never buy a house now without a pool, unless it was like fucking up North or something like that. So do you think that your solar heating is going to keep it warm enough for you to use in January and February? <laughs> I don't think, I mean, it's, it helps like just to picture it, it's a four by eight sheet of plywood, you know, with some framing and stuff. And it's basically about 500 feet of half inch landscape uh, piping. And they're basically coiled, you know, in a big circle and there's two circles and it's actually connected to my pool pump through like the, like a normal, like spigot that comes off it. And it just runs, it runs it back into the pool. Dude, the water coming out of that thing today and yesterday i mean dude you put your hand by it and like i mean it, it doesn't burn your hand but like it's it's right there to where like if you held it there for a while it could burn your hand and it's but it does it all day it does it from you know nine o'clock till six o'clock so it's just circulating so it's will it keep it warm enough in january i don't know it'll definitely help though I, we'll yeah I, I, love, I love that idea bro like uh when you told me about that i've told some other people about that because you like you're like want to be kind of like self -suf sufficient not like you're going to go live in a cave type of thing but yeah 
if you, if you don't have to like increase your utility bill and you don't have to do all sorts of like, you know, hey, you could add a solar panel, then the solar panel charges the battery and then the battery like is a heater in your pool, right? Like that's how I, like, I might think about like yeah. adding heating to the pool, but something just so simple and it's yet probably more effective and costs less than any of those other options to do something yeah. is I think that's just a fucking great idea to go through in a it, it cost me it cost me like 200 bucks and don't get me wrong it was a bitch of a project because that piping kinks and it's it's 500 feet of it and it's it was a whole thing but it worked out well the only thing that didn't work out was my idea because i wanted to make it keep it clean was i drilled a hole into the pool overflow so they have the little skimmer thing on your pool and it has a it has a pipe above where the water level would be and when the water level gets too high it go, runs down this pipe and it runs into your backyard so your pool is never going to overflow so i located that pipe and i bro i drilled into that pipe and that's kind of sketchy you know it's outside of the screened area but drilling into your own pool piping when you're not a plumber is kind of sketchy so bro i drill into this bitch and and water starts coming out and I'm like, oh, I just fucked up. I just fucked up. It, it, it died down. But long story short is I got the hose in there and I started feeding water into it from the heater. And bro, I have no idea where it went. It didn't flow into the into the return like I thought it was. I have no idea if it has like a check valve or something that doesn't allow water back in. I have no idea. But I was just like, all right, fuck this. I'm just going to seal this hole up and I'm just going to have to go around into the back of the screen and drop it in there. Did you put like a coupling on there or did you? Yeah. 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 No, I did a, did a coupling. So, but it was just, it was kind of sketchy, man. But it yeah. turned out good. So I'm happy about it. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I have a story on that that I can tell next time about when I was doing a sprinkler job for a customer when I had a landscaping company. Uh, and if you want to hear that story about breaking the main line, from the city uh <laughs> tune into the next next uh next week's show but we're gonna wrap things up here uh if you would like to support the channel there's three or four different ways you can do that first your time here is number one number two if you leave us a review on, you know, on wherever you're listening whether you're listening on youtube channel your google or apple leave us a review that's actually tremendously helpful for discovery because people are not just like scrolling on youtube to find podcasts or they're learning from it from other people, which is option number three, a referral. If you have a friend that likes the weird shit that we like, tell them about the show. Super helpful. We've actually been able to more than double, I think it's more than double in the last six months, that the number of listens per uh, episode or, or like per month or whatever that we're doing. And number four, if you uh, want to, the ultimate gym tell check them out tmt25 or if you want to check out any research products check out triggerbrand.store uh any last words no i'm i would say don't don't even go to ultimate gym towel if you go down to the links if you want to start trt i have some discounts for a couple different clinics so check out see if one fits um and then sign up you get a nice little tyl discount yes awesome and we'll see you guys in the next show peace